just thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak to me and through me in the name of Jesus. Now, this video is a video that God laid on my heart months ago, like months ago, okay? I was supposed to then make this video, but I was supposed to title it something different. I'm titling this video, I've been a hypocritical Christian now because there's been so many things that God has told me to do that I just did not do. Videos that he gave me, like video ideas that the Holy Spirit gave me that I was supposed to put out there that I did not do. He gave me powerful dreams that I was supposed to put out there, but I did not do. And I just had to basically repent for a lot of things. Now, I took like a little break, you know what I'm saying, um, for like, you know what I'm saying, some weeks. I've been I've been on social media. I've been on TikTok and Instagram, but just like barely. Like I've barely been on there as much as I used to be on there. Like I've literally been deleting the app every single day, multiple times. I might click on there, you know what I'm saying, for a little second just to, just to scroll a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I've really been like kind of staying off of social media haven't been posting at all. And just most of my time, I've been trying to really focus on God and just like praying more and reading the word of God. You know what I'm saying? I had got a word that God just really wants me to study. You know what I'm saying? Right now, just like really study and stuff like that. And that's what I was hearing when I was praying one day to just start studying the, the word of God. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what I've been doing, right? Now, the Holy Spirit was telling me like two days ago that I need to basically make this video. Um, and I believe that I'm making this video to take my power back and to pretty much expose myself. Now, I went back and I watched my testimony video, bruh, and I seen some of the things that I was saying. And it and it just kind of like made me feel like, man, bro, I need to get that zeal back. The Holy Spirit literally wanted, wants me to say this, that I lost my zeal. And I lost my focus for Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And when I went back and I looked at my testimony video, you know, I was just like real on fire. And I was saying, you know, how God took away the desire of fornication. God took away the desire of smoking marijuana. God took away the desire of masturbating and stuff like that. And you know what? God truly did take those desires away from me. I, I said, I literally said in the video, word for word, you know, I will never do those things again. But I found myself actually slipping up sometimes in my walk and doing those things again. I made a video, you know, not like last year, um, titled I Smoked Weed as a Christian. And I slipped up and I smoked weed. You know what I'm saying? And I made that video exposing myself. Back then, the Holy Spirit wanted me to expose myself doing that. And I actually did. Um, and my intentions as to how I even got in that predicament was because I actually wanted to have sex with the girl that I had smoked weed with. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, but I had got so high that night that I I couldn't function. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do that. So I dropped her off that night and I just had a bad experience that night. And I had to pray. I had to fast. I had to just repent. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, uh, fast forward. You know, I, I slipped up a few times in my walk, which I talked about where I slipped up and masturbated, you know what I'm saying? And I was very, very, you know, sorry and just repentful to God, you know what I'm saying? And I, I and I and I kept making these mistakes because God kept telling me that I really, really struggle with youthful lust. I really, really struggle with wanting to be a part of the world, you know what I'm saying? And also I kind of feel led to say this too, you know, like bro, like I don't got no friends. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to nobody except for my mom. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much about it, bro. And it's been kind of hard for me because, like, it's not that God doesn't want to give me friends, but he wants me isolated. And he's had me isolated for such a long time that I'll be struggling sometimes with just wanting to be how I was, bro. And it'll cause me to stumble. Like, it'll cause me to stumble. But now I've gotten to a place where I'm like, bro, I want that fire back. Like, I want to just be on fire and just strictly focused on God. Like, because when when I first gave my life to God, bro, he was giving me such deep revelations. He was giving me powerful dreams. Um, I was casting out demons. You know what I'm saying? I was receiving such deep revelations when I would read the word of God and stuff like that. And, you know, I, it's like I kind of lost my... I don't I don't want to say I lost my authority because the authority comes from Christ. But like when you sin, it discourages you and then it just kind of pulls you back and it and it and it and it 
takes away your confidence. So now I'm in a, in a position where I'm trying to build back my confidence after some time of just disobeying God, right? And he wanted me to make this video um, like months ago, and it was going to literally be about how I actually fornicated, right? Now this now this time I actually fornicated. I, I literally fornicated, I think it was September 30th, 2022. Where I literally had fornicate. I think that's I, that day should fall on a Friday, I believe. And um, how it happened was, which the Holy Spirit wants me to pretty much explain how I even feel. How it happened was, um, I was at work. Okay, now I work basically for a real estate company. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always at different buildings and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was at a building, and it was a it was a tenant, and she, I was I was doing my thing. Then I, I caught her coming down some stairs. And, you know, I had said, uh, um, I think she said what's up to me or I said what's up to her or whatever. However, this, this little exchange leaded to me getting her number. Okay. This was before I fornicated though, right? You know what I'm saying? This is just leading up to September 30th. So I had ended up getting her uh, number and this was like in the summertime when I had got her number. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Cause it goes, yeah. So it was like basically a little bit bef uh, before I had filled whatever, you know what I'm saying? Don't matter what I'm saying. I'm just trying to get the story straight. Okay, so I got her number and then I ended up taking her out on a date. You know what I'm saying? A few days after I got her number or maybe that same night. I don't know. Maybe I think I was being a little thirsty, bro. I had took her out on a date and we had like a good time. But, bro, she really reminded me of my ex in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? And she was just real, real like Je Jezebelic, bro, and controlling. Kept trying to call me like literally like every few seconds, bro. Like I would hang up with her on the phone while I'm at work. I'm like, all right, I'm going to talk to you later. You know what I'm saying? We've been talking for a minute. Ain't really talking about nothing. Click. And then she had called me back in 10 minutes talking about, I just miss you. It was so weird. It was kind of bizarre in my opinion. I didn't like it. She thought that I thought it was cute, but I didn't think it was cute. And I told her, you know what I'm saying? It was a little annoying. However, I ended up cutting her off after about, you know, two or three weeks of us talking. I cut her off and, you know, I, I just was done with that. I didn't fornicate with her. You know, I just had took her out on, on like that, like one or two dates. And, you know, I just left it at that, bro. I was like, you know, I'm just be done. Now, at this point, the enemy was working on my mind so tough. You know what I'm saying? Making me feel so lonely, making me feel like I, I should, you know, I need a girl or I should slip back up and have sex again and stuff like that. And it was like two months went by, bro. And her friend, now this girl that I had pulled the number, right? Her friend, I mean, this girl had actually moved, so she did not no longer live in that building, but her friend still lived in the building, right? So her friend seen me two months later and was all like, um, my friend told me to tell you to hit her up. And when she did that, I just looked at her and was like, no, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And then she looked at me funny and she closed her door. You know what I'm saying? And I really did mean that. I said, no, I'm good. But then it's like, it, it triggered something in me, bro. And it just literally started making me just think about this girl so heavy, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is when September hit. You know what I'm saying? This is around September. Um, So, like, I just hit her up, bro, on that on that random day, bro. On that literally on the, in the same day, I feel, bro. I hit her up. And I had got my hair cut and everything, bro, just so I could, you know what I'm saying, talk to her. Like, I hit, I hit her up, then I hit my barber up. I was trying to look fresh and everything, bro. And I ended up going to her house that night. Now, when I went to her house, I did not actually want to fall, but I but I ended up falling, you feel me? So, um, we was just watching TV and stuff like that. And then, you know, we was talking. And then one thing led to another, bro. And then, Boom, you know what I'm saying? Some things just took place, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I couldn't, it's like I didn't have no control because I was all, the enemy was already working on my mind for some months. And then I was just there, just basically in the enemy's playground, just there exactly where my flesh wanted to be, exactly where the enemy wanted me to be. And I just fell that night, okay? And then after that night, you know what I'm saying? It was something that I experienced that was so powerful. I ain't gonna lie. Like I had fasted the next day. And, you know, God had told me, you know what I'm saying, that I really struggle with youthful lust, but I also struggle with holding on to the past. I also struggle with wanting to just be like how I used to be and stuff like that. So I ended up going on a fast after I fell and God brought me on like a little journey. I ended up like driving to um, my high school that I went to and I was praying and God literally started telling me, you know what I'm saying, to it was interesting.
It's like God had forgave me for fornicating, but he started revealing a lot of things that was in my heart. He he ended up like telling me that I had to forgive myself and I had to forgive like my old friends and stuff like that um, so that I could kind of let go of the past and let go of all this that was going on, um, all this lust and, and this backwardness basically that was like living inside me. So I literally was right there in front of my high school and I had to forgive myself for quitting on myself for giving up on myself, forgave myself for basically just having sex with so many different women and stuff like that and didn't truly even like them. You know what I'm saying? I had to forgive myself for basically like hurting people and I had to forgive myself for, you know, not loving myself as well when I was like younger in high school and stuff like that. I was like holding on to all this stuff and it was actually kind of, it was affecting me too and holding me back. And it was one of the reasons why I had failed. I guess that's what God was trying to like relate to me as well. And then I had to forgive friends who basically went behind my back, talked about me, you know, betrayed me and things like that. I didn't really know that all this stuff was in my heart, but it was. And I'm at my high school. I'm like bawling out, crying tears and stuff like that. And it was a powerful moment for me. You know what I'm saying? But after that moment, I still had times where I slipped up and fell. You know what I'm saying? Like I still had times where I slipped up and fell. And, you know, God was trying to get me to, like I was saying earlier in this video, God would try to get me to make videos about dreams he was giving me, about revelation he was giving me, and I was just being lazy, disobedient, dishonorable, you know, to the things that God was telling me to do. And it just kind of like made me lose zeal, you know, lose my zeal and my passion for God and lose focus for God. And now I'm at a point where I'm just trying to get it back. So I'm doing whatever the Holy Spirit is telling me to do so that I can get it back. Two steps that he gave me was to make this video. I'm sorry, somebody was calling me. Two steps he gave me was to make this video and also to buy a journal and start literally journaling down my days, you know what I'm saying? And consistently just reading the word of God and doing my little night routine, you know, God, I developed the night routine, you know, with God before I go to bed. So, and God really wants him to, like he told, like the Holy Spirit told me, have God on your mind before you go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Let him be the last thing that you're thinking about. And this is what, you know, I'm going to walk into and do so that I can begin to, you know, get those old revelations back, get my zeal back, get that love back. You know what I'm saying? That I still do have, but I just wanted to grow and, and be deeper. And I know that, you know, sin and being disobedient kind of pulled me away from that. And now I believe me making this video is me taking my power back and getting back to how I was in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Now, it always blessed me, bro, because there's been some people who have told me that my videos have helped them in their walk with God, have helped them actually go to Christ. I even had a testimony one time where one dude said he literally stopped smoking weed and he had stopped smoking weed for like a month or two months already because he watched my videos, bro. And that was like, like great to hear. And I know that God wants to use me at an even more greater capacity. You know what I'm saying? And you can only be drawn to Christ through the father, if the father draws you to Christ. So it's a blessing to even know, you know what I'm saying? That the father has a plan and purpose for me and for you as well. And it's okay if we've sinned and stuff like that, we just have to get back up and we have to pick up our cross and continue to walk. At first I was feeling like I was going to be condemning myself in this video, but there's no reason. There's no reason for me to condemn myself right? Because there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The only thing that I can do is repent and just, you know, give it all to God and allow him to use me, which is what I plan on doing. And that's why I made this video. Hopefully this video was an encouragement to you and you can extract something, you know, from my own doings and from this video, but y'all be blessed and encouraged in the name of Jesus. And if any of you feel led to even just pray for me, if you really care, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, pray for me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, y'all just be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.